We've covered uh, several other different types of weapons. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about and show you a couple things about basic stick defense. The first thing is uh, this is your uh, standard uh, street type axe handle, although it's brand new. And we have these tape pieces marked off for a reason. This is a, a similar to a sword fighting technique. It's just a piece of information most people are not aware of. Uh, when you have a stick, using it like a baseball strike like this, we have the tape marking off on the stick here. Between 60 and 75% of the distance from the hand grip is where all the power is on this stick. If somebody gets hit with the inside of the stick here, the power is not much different than getting hit with the hand. Clear at the end of the stick, it's not that it is not dangerous at all. A clipping motion with the end of the stick just catch a jaw or the edge of the chin because the speed is the greatest at the end. It's still dangerous, but there is far less power behind the blow than if you get hit with this spot. So basically, what this translates into is if you have somebody and in the stick fighting business, in stick defense, the longer the weapon, the more dangerous it is. A person extends their reach, extends their range of motion by just picking up a weapon, wood, iron, any material. The longer it is, the better the potential weapon is. So we have somebody who is uh, uh, doing an assault with a weapon like this and going to take a full swing shots. They're using the weapon like this, either one hand or baseball style. Come on in. It's if they're coming around like this and you're going to get hit between the tape, you're taking the best shot he can give. And you're volunteering for it, too. You don't need to do that. Remember, from here down and from here out, there is very little power. Once you cross the threshold behind here, pass by, come on in, you get by here, this is what makes the stick different than a gun or edged weapons. Once you're in this close, as long as you stay this close, you don't have to worry about this weapon in this person's hands nearly as much as you did with the other weapons. It's a very little value now. In fact, it's an, uh, a hindrance to this person because there's no way he can get the power onto you anywhere. So you don't have to pay as much attention to this weapon anymore. That's the basic difference between stick fighting, edge weapons, and, and firearms is you have the liberty of not having to completely disarm the weapon before you assault your attacker. That's the number one difference. So most of the techniques that we've shown you with uh, joint manipulation, gun disarming, edged weapons, uh, after you clear inside the stick and get this far, lots of those techniques are going to work. Same thing. And you have the added benefit of you don't have to worry so much about this. Taking a shot with this part of the stick under combat conditions, you won't even notice it, relatively speaking. This is what you got to worry about. When it's inside, there's no way he can bring the real weapon to bear upon you, the target. So getting inside past what we call the sweet spot of the weapon is your number one job.